Brett Blair Jones. I'm a PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania. I'll be talking about making um, computational workflows reproducible using a process we call um, continuous analysis. And so we'll be hitting on uh, Docker again, but um, really concentrating on repeatability. So um, same code, same data, same results. Um, so I know we heard this morning about um, kind of the challenges in promoting open science. That being said, I think um, it is growing. There is more source code and um, data becoming available. But even when that is available, reproducibility is still hard um, due to different environments, updating source code packages um, and dependencies, um, et cetera. One example w was that uh, they estimated it would take about seven weeks for a non-expert to reproduce um, a single work. And this is kind of one of the positive cases when the work is, is even reproducible. So the, the current state is that um, source code is, is put up on GitHub. Um, data is placed on um, generally private web servers. Um, and unfortunately, it's, it's often thought of as an afterthought. It's a formality. Um, a lot of times there's insufficient documentation. Um, it can be hard to figure out how to install the package and make sure that you have all the, the right dependencies to do so. Um, to illustrate kind of one of the problems, we used the um, popular brain array um, custom CDF to do um, one of the most routine of analysis, differential gene expression. And so they do a great job of maintaining this package and update it every year. When you look at the last three versions, you see um, you actually get different amounts of significant genes being reported. When you look at papers citing um, this, only nine of the last 15 um, most recent papers and one of the 10 most popular actually specify which version they use. Um, and the one of the 10 that does actually specify the version uses version 11, um, which unfortunately is no longer even available. So with that, we set forth um, the goal to develop a workflow um, where we could reproduce experimental results accurately, quickly, and without contacting original authors. We wanted to do all of this at a minimal cost to the original authors. So we created this process we call continuous analysis that combines Docker, um, which I'm, I think everyone here is familiar with, um, with continuous integration, which is a software development workflow typically used to d test and deploy code. We've repurposed it to rerun analysis and um, push results to different services. So in this way, we can automatically rerun computational analysis in an identical environment after each relevant change. To set this up, there are three main steps. You have to create a Docker container, configure a um, continuous integration service, and then just push your co code changes. And when you have um, relevant code changes, you can rerun all of your analysis. Um, the main outputs, there, there's four main outputs. So there's a, a base and final Docker image, which can be used to rerun the um, code in the exact same environment um, and perform additional analysis. There are regenerated figures. So you can actually see um, which code changes create relevant changes. And finally, um, something that we're actually really excited about are audit logs from the run, which show basically everything that was done in the analysis. This is really helpful because it can give readers and reviewers confidence in the results without even having to rerun the software. Um, it's, it's particularly important um, in the work that I do in the electronic health record where we're working with patient information that can't be shared um, to, to be able to show exactly what's done. So just to show how easy it is to actually set up this process, um, here are the two main steps. It's um, 33 lines and 41 lines to build the Docker container and run the script on the continuous integration service. It'll take a couple of hours the first time, but can be under 30 minutes for subsequent attempts. Um, and going back to that original problem, um, using continuous analysis within um, a container, you are um, guaranteed to have the same versions of the software. You'll get the same results. Um, so with that, we have a um, preprint available online as well as a repository with um, numerous examples. We welcome pull requests and feedback on the repository, um, and we'd, we'd love to hear from you guys. And I'd like to thank everyone who's helped along the way.